Simple Dreams is the eighth studio album by the American singer Linda Ronstadt, released in 1977 by Asylum Records. It includes several of her best-known songs, including her cover of the Rolling Stones song Tumbling Dice and her version of the Roy Orbison song Blue Bayou, which earned her a Grammy nomination for Record of the Year. The album also contains covers of the Buddy Holly song It's So Easy, and the Warren Zevon songs Poor Poor Pitiful Me and Carmelita. The album was the best-selling studio album of her career, and at the time was the second best-selling album by a female artist. It was her first album since Don't Cry Now without longtime musical collaborator Andrew Gold, though it features several of the other Laurel Canyon-based session musicians who appeared on her prior albums. Including guitarists Dan Dugmore and Wadi Wachtel, bassist Kenny Edwards, and producer and multi-instrumentalist Peter Asher. The album was originally released by Asylum in the LP format in September 1977. Later, in 1986, Asylum released the album in the cassette format and in the CD format. The album has never been out of print. One of the most successful albums of Ronstadt's career, Simple Dreams spent five successive weeks at number one on the Billboard album chart in late 1977, displacing Fleetwood Mac's rumors after it had held that position for a record-breaking 29 weeks. It also knocked Elvis Presley out of the number one position on the Billboard Country Albums chart after The King had held it for 15 consecutive weeks following his death in August. Simple Dreams was Ronstadt's fifth consecutive million-selling platinum album and sold over three and a half million copies in less than a year in the United States alone, a record for a female artist. Among female recording artists at that time, only Carole King, with her album Tapestry, had sold more copies of one album. The album was such a success that Ronstadt became the first female artist, and the first act overall since The Beatles, to have two singles in the top five at the same time, the Platinum Certified Blue Bayou and It's So Easy. It's So Easy was originally recorded by Buddy Holly and the Crickets in 1958 but had failed to chart in its original version. It was Ronstadt's second cover of a Holly song to become a hit in as many years, she had taken a rousing cover of That'll Be The Day to number 11 pop in 1976, using a similar arrangement. The album includes songs by Warren Zevon, Eric Kaz, and J.D. Souther, as well as the Rolling Stones' Tumbling Dice. Ronstadt was joined by Parton on the traditional ballad I Never Will Marry, which became a top 10 country hit during the summer of 1978. Ronstadt, Parton, and Emmylou Harris were also working on an ill-fated collaborative project around this same time, but nine years would pass before the release of their first trio album, Ronstadt also recorded a Spanish-language version of Blue Bayou entitled Lago Azul only released as a single in 1978. The album's 40th anniversary reissue in 2017, augmented by the addition of four live tracks, likewise amidst this recording. Originally, the cover photograph was to show Ronstadt dressed in a mini slip and seated in front of multiple mirrors. Uncomfortable with the physical exposure, she changed into a robe, and the picture was made artificially grainy. A retouched photo from the original photo sessions was included on the inner sleeve of her Platinum Plus album Greatest Hits, Volume 2, released in 1980. At the 20th Grammy Awards, John Kosh won the Grammy Award for Best Recording Package for Simple Dreams. Reviewing in Chris Gow's Record Guide, Rock Albums of the 70s, Robert Chris Gow wrote, in which Andrew Gold goes off and pursues his solo career, enabling Ronstadt to hire herself a rock and roll band. She's still too predictable, imagine how terse and eloquent Blue Bayou would seem if instead of turning up the volume midway through she just hit one high note at the end, but she's also a pop eclectic for our time as comfortable with Mick Jagger as with Dolly Parton, interpreting Roy Orbison as easily as Buddy Holly. Even her portrayal of a junkie seeking sucker from Warren Zevon's. Carmelita, isn't totally ridiculous. And I admit it, she looks great in a Dodger jacket. Blue Bayou was nominated for the Record of the Year Grammy Award in early 1978. It also earned Ronstadt a Grammy nomination for Best Pop Vocal Performance Female, alongside Barbara Streisand, Dolly Parton, Carly Simon, and Debbie Boone. Thanks for watching.